Hi, my name is Jacob Russell. I'm an associate professor from the Department of Biology at Drexel University. In my lab, we study symbiotic interactions between insects and bacteria. Uh, this work serves as a parallel to the human microbiome research that's being performed today that aims to understand the interplay between microbes' health and disease. Um, we're interested in similar questions in insects such as ants and aphids, where we're trying to understand the beneficial services that the microbes provide and how this has impacted the evolution of insects like ants and aphids over both short and long time scales. In our laboratory, we use tools that we borrow from a number of disciplines, including ecology, evolution, and genomics. So we do a good amount of field research, which involves traveling to sites in the neotropics, as well as to sites that are closer to home in Pennsylvania. Once we bring our aphids or ants back to the lab, we can perform experiments to understand the benefits of the symbionts. We can also use molecular approaches, including genomics, to understand the mechanisms behind some of these benefits. Uh, in addition to this, we perform phylogenetic analyses, as well as a variety of other statistics to understand the histories of these interactions, as well as to understand why they vary in nature. In our lab, we have two major research projects. The first is aimed to understand the evolution of ant diets and the roles that symbionts have played in this evolution. Herbivorous ants, in particular, have diets that are rather challenging. They're very poor in nitrogen. And what our work has identified is that these ants harbor several specialized bacteria. So we're interested in whether these bacteria can provide usable nitrogen to these ants and thus to help them subsist on these poor diets. In addition to this, we study aphids, which are a group of sap-feeding insects. They have a variety of different bacteria that protect them from things like parasites and pathogens, as well as hot temperatures. So our work aims to understand how do these protective symbioses function in nature, and it's also aimed to understand how can the aphids maintain such a diverse complement of bacteria in natural populations. My name is Narayan Wong. Um, I'm a second year student in the Russell Lab, and I've been studying um, genetic variation um, in a fungal pathogen called Pandora um, that different types of bacterial symbionts of the P. aphid um, all defend against. And what we found is that there are many different isolates of this fungus um, that occur to different degrees in different areas um, and across different years. And we're interested in seeing whether or not these changes can be driven by changes in defensive symbiont type. Our work aims to understand how symbioses have shaped the evolution of one of the world's most abundant animal groups. So ants are incredibly successful and they dominate in many terrestrial ecosystems, but they can also be destructive pests in habitats where they've recently invaded. So we're really intrigued to understand the roles the bacteria have played over the history of ants. In addition to this, we're also convinced that symbiotic bacteria may be able to thwart biological control efforts to suppress insect populations. And so our studies on aphids and their symbionts under real-world conditions have long-term goals of better contributing to biological control efforts.